This is finding cube root with a zero at the end. For this example, we're going to use the number 79,507,000. When the students first see this example, they might mention right away that our last period is made up of zeros. And so they might know right away that our unit for our root number, for our cube root, is going to be zero. But let's mark off the period and start working and see what it looks like. We'll bring out our 100 cube. And our first period is 79, so the students can tell me that they know that 4 cubed equals 64. And that's going to be the largest cube that they can make. And we have 15 left over. We can bring down the next digit, which is 5. And now we're going to build our next layer, which is going to be the 100 square. 10 high. And we'll do research to find our tens. So we have the 100 squares, 10. We'll take that three times. And we know that we can find our tens by taking 3n squared. We know that 4 is our n. And so that's going to be 48. And then we will take 155 and divide 48, and we get 3. So that's our trial root for our tens place. And now we can fill in our 100 squared, or 4 squared, times our tens, or 3, 3 times. And that gives us 144. We can subtract 144 from 155, and that gives us 11. And we can bring down our next digit, which is 0. Now we have 110. We're going to continue building. And now we can come over to our paper, and for this one, we found our 10 square, 100 high. And we took that three times. So we have 4 times 3 squared, 3 times. And that's 108. We can subtract 108 from 110. That gives us 2. So we can do the research to find our unit digit. We're going to take 2 and divide that by our 3n squared. Which is 3 times 4 squared. And that's 48. And that equals 0. So our trial root for our units place is 0. And if we take our 100 squared times unit, with that being a zero in the units place, we know that that's going to be zero, so we won't be using those. We can put a zero down, and we have two left. And now we'll bring down another digit, and we can move on to build the next layer. We have 27, and we're going to be looking at our 10 cube, and that fits in to our cube. And the students can tell me that 3 cubed is equal to 27. 27 minus 27 is 0. And then I can bring down the next number, which is also 0. And the students can tell me that the rest of them are going to be 0 so there's no need to continue to build. We have built our cube, and we have 430 being the cube root of 79,507,000. The students can check their work. 430 cubed equals 430 times 430 
times 430, and that is equal to 79,507,000. And so our work checks out.